two minutes, nine seconds. Holy shit. Holy sh What the hell do you see these waves? Our anchor is holding. Whoa. Jeez. Tomorrow is May 1st, grouper and hogfish opening day, which is basically a holiday down here in the Florida Keys. And I'm gonna be in the Live Like Jeff tournament. It's a spear fishing and rod and reel tournament, but I'm gonna be doing the spear fishing part of it. A lot of my friends are doing it. There's gonna be some high level of competition. I'm gonna be giving it my all. If you look outside, it's pretty gloomy. It's been raining and pretty windy all morning. Hopefully we have clear water tomorrow with all this wind. I don't know, it's gonna be a 50-50. But today I'm gonna to prepare my boat because first light tomorrow, I'm gonna to be heading out. And I'm gonna to try to shoot myself a grouper on my boat. Might be a solo trip. Maybe I can convince Dan to come with me, but let's get started. First stop, we're gonna pick up six blocks of chum. That's a lot of chum. Holy shit. My car barely turned on. Well, my brand new $300 battery that I put in there like a month ago is, got 10 volts on it. I didn't leave any lights on, so I, this thing is draining, draining power somehow, I don't know. Well, might as well check on the boat while that's charging. I only have a couple hours left while the, uh, Tackle shop's still open for bait because it's Sunday and they're not open late today. Might as well check the boat. But this would be a good time to tell you guys, I got a new vehicle coming hopefully next week. I'm gonna make a whole video on it. There's gonna be a big reveal and it's, it's something juicy. Very juicy. Better not give me any problems tomorrow, girl. You hear that? You best be behaving yourself tomorrow. I'll leave anything in it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, hey Carson, there's the water jug you've been looking for. Oh, shoot. Well, so far it's been a great start to the day. Let's see if the car turns on. Here we go. Woo, okay, I'm just not gonna turn her off. We're gonna look for chum, sand, and oats because sand, chum, and oats we can make chum balls with and hopefully the chum balls will bring in the grouper. KLI here in Key Largo. Luckily they're open on Sundays till two and I just got 100 pounds of play sand from them. I'm gonna throw it in the trunk right now. Bad news, the Key Largo Fisheries is closed on Sunday. No! Cause they sell bulk chum, so I was gonna buy their bulk chum and they sell oats too. Oh man, I don't know what to do now. All right boys, we may have performed a miracle. I went in there, talked to them, and they're nice enough to send someone back to get me a, a big box of chum and oats, and they're sitting. Oh, here. Boom, baby, Blue Label Chum, Tournament Masters. And that's our oats. 100 pounds of sand, 50 pounds of oats, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks of chum. For how hectic this morning has been and how uh, unreliable my vehicle is, and it's a Sunday, we somehow managed to squeak by. And as a reward, I'm gonna grab some lunch at the Key Largo Fisheries. So this is the Key Largo Fisheries where they process all the fish and stuff. And then they have a restaurant in the back, the Backyard Cafe at the Key Largo Fisheries Backyard Cafe. It's pretty good, so I'm gonna grab some lunch as a reward. And then we're gonna keep getting the boat ready. Got some food in my belly. Gotta see my buddy Raphael. We've been bros since uh, kindergarten, so we go way back. Unfortunately, I was so caught up in the moment, I didn't take a picture or a video or anything at the Key Largo Fisheries. You know, when you got like a woman around that's always like, guys, take a picture together. Or like, you know, when mother is always like, come on, let's take a picture. And everyone's like, oh, gotta take another picture. But you know what? Smile, pose for a nice picture because in 10 or 20 years, you'll look back on that picture and it'll make you smile all over again. I'm getting one last thing before I go home and get the boat ready. One last thing. What it is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts cold brew, baby. Oh, damn, this thing will get you tweaking. And big shout out to the lady working at Dunkin' Donuts. She gave me a whole bag of donuts for free. Unfortunately, I don't eat donuts anymore so i'm just gonna stare at them staring at me and probably end up eating one you know because i got no self-control 
<laughs> Damn. The bag's just staring at me. Look at it over there. Okay, I'm driving to Island Marauder right now, and we're gonna stop at Killshot Spear Guns. We're gonna see Killshot Ed. Carson's gonna be there. I think Luke might be there. Probably end up spending some money, maybe buy an extra shaft. And then we're going to the captain's meeting. All right, we're at Kill shot, getting a bunch of gear. I just got a new shaft, new booties, a knife, a dive light. He's geared up. Geared up. We got the whole crew here. We do. <laughs> but yeah, if you need any spear fishing gear, you need a gun, come come see Kill Shot Ed over here in uh, Isla Mirada. And every gun comes with some knuckles. There we go. <laughs> and that from Ed is worth more than the gun. So you're basically getting a free gun. If you're new to free diving or spear fishing, I highly suggest you hit up Ed because he does free diving courses and you'll be diving like probably 50, 60 feet after the first couple days. He teaches you everything you need to know. Go hit up Ed because everyone's always asking me how to spear fish or want me to teach them. And I am not an instructor. Ed's professional. Go talk to Ed and he'll turn you into a superstar. Anyways, we're heading to the captain's meeting now. Of course, I forgot to film. I got caught up in the moment again, but it was a great captain's meeting. I got an awesome bucket full of goodies. Went over the rules, which is you can't get in the water until seven in the morning. And then it's the biggest black grouper and hogfish. So you can either shoot a black grouper and a hogfish or just shoot one or the other, but it would be best to shoot both. But really it would just be best to just shoot a really big black and not spend any time on the hogfish. I'm gonna go home and get the chum ready, get the boat ready and put all my gear on the boat because we're gonna have an early, early start. So I'm gonna get everything ready tonight and then it's show time. All right, it's pretty late, but uh, I'm gonna put some things on the boat already. Check out my new, my brand new spear knife. Oh baby. Can't wait to drive that into a grouper tomorrow morning. Nice. I like that it has the wrist thing. That way when you're chumming, you can let go of your knife without losing it because it's very easy to lose knives. This right here, so you can strap it to your leg, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna strap this to my weight belt, just like my old knife, but you can see my old knife is missing. <laughs> Wonder where it went. We may never know, but I'm gonna carry all this gear out to the boat already. What a beautiful flag. All right, I got most of my gear on the boat already. I'm gonna get to bed. The chum is thawing. It's already 12.09. I'm gonna try to be awake at like six in the morning, load all the chum and the rest of everything on the boat, and then hopefully we'll be heading out right as the sun's coming up. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bam, and we got a beautiful freaking day. Look at that. What a beautiful morning. I got the boat. We got our chum. I got a barracuda we're gonna chunk up. I got some <laughs> old crawfish that didn't make it from the crawfish broil. Float line, two spear guns and a pole spear. Sand, we got our oats, more oats, dive fins. Two fishing poles just in case. Camera bag, then I got a full bucket of fresh water just so I can keep my mask and stuff and I can wash my face off after getting salty. That's my bucket with all my wetsuit, gloves, booties, dive belt, knife, flashlight, all that. Tackle bag and then lots of ice. The only thing we're missing now is some food and drinks, which I'm gonna go get now and then, and then we're heading off. So let's hurry because the sun is already up. It is. 7.15, you could get in the water at seven o'clock. So I could have been in the water 15 minutes ago. So I am slightly slacking, I guess you can say, but I am doing this solo. So it's a lot of gear to move, a lot of stuff to do on your own. Hey buddy. Hey buds, yeah. Oh, that is a good kitty. Come on. All right, Elliot and all my viewers. The secret to a good day's start is a good breakfast. And normally I eat 10 eggs for breakfast, but because I'm gonna be burning a lot of energy today, I wanted a little more carbs than normal. So I got myself some spicy tuna, spicy tuna sushi. We'll be eating that. And instead of 10 eggs, I'll just be eating six eggs. Oh yeah, we got some blue eggs too. Mm. 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 
Okay. Mm. All right. All right, six eggs, two apples. I got a banana. What flavor LaCroix do we got? We got guava something. I can't even read what that says on there. And then mango. A little protein plus drink. Then we got ourselves a little energy drink. Mmm, all right. That banana is kind of still a little green. I don't like uh, bananas when they're green. They're, I like them when they're real yellow and soft and juicy. Y'all want to know my secret weapon to winning this tournament? A little bit of leftover cold brew from Dunkin' Donuts yesterday. C -c 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 crack! Crack! Love you, buddy. Give me a kiss. Come here. I'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Looks like a beautiful day to go to war. I don't think I've ever had this much gear on my boat. This is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Fly birdie, fly away. All right, I'm gonna get my boat organized, get all my thoughts together, and then I'll see you guys uh, right as we're about to turn the, the engine on. Hopefully the engine turns on. Because, boy, wouldn't that be a doozy. But, uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, the engine is trimming down. <laughs> good. Very good. So the battery's got plenty of juice. Turn her over. Fingers crossed, guys. This can make or break my day right here, right now. She's running. All right. Give her a nice push. Whee! Ah. <sighs> These are the rules, and I'm trying to remember what channel we're on. Channel 78. So, I'm gonna put us on channel 78. Look at her purring. You get me there and bring me back home, baby. I believe in you. All right, hang on. Here we go. How about we have some real fun? Go up in the tower. Oh, <laughs> I can't describe to you guys the feeling right now. Just pure freedom, pure adrenaline. Ready to conquer the Black Rupert. Wow, it is not clear at all today. And it's pretty freaking wavy. Oh boy, oh yeah, woo! Okay. All right, looks like we're gonna have a, it's gonna be a, one of those days. We're gonna be battling hard. Today is one of those washing machine days where you got this swell coming in from offshore, coming this way, but we got the wind coming this way, and then they clash creating this like washing machine effect. And the water is, if you can look, the water is not clear at all. This is gonna be an interesting day. All right, buddy. Fee ho! Watch out below! All right, our anchor is holding. Whoa, jeez. Barely hold on to this boat. If you're prone to seasickness, you would not be doing well right now. Whew. Oh my god. Whew. This is rough. Alright. I'm gonna take take a chum chum block. Okay, I put a chum block in this yellow mesh bag. Alright, we'll drop it on down to the bottom. That right there is our bag of chum. That's gonna sit on the bottom. And that's gonna attract grouper and sharks. Those guys over there just recognized me. All right, check it out. Beautiful dive flag going up top. Put it right, right up here. I'm gonna put the gaff right down here in case I need it. Holy sh! What the hell do you see these waves? Holy, that was a big one. Surprised I haven't fallen over yet. 
Now we're gonna make our witch's potion. We got our two blocks of chum and one in each bucket. We got our sand. And we're just gonna pour the sand in there. Honestly, I don't know what kind of ratios we're looking for. I'm just kind of, I'm just going with the flow. And I brought this paddle boarding paddle. I'm gonna mush it all up in there. And then we're gonna wanna add some oats to it. Let's check the consistency of it. Grab a handful and see if you can make a ball. I'd say that's looking pretty freaking good. Oh, damn, she went straight down. Our chum balls are good to go. Now we're gonna just, I'm gonna drop a chum ball every minute for the next 20, 30 minutes. We're just gonna chum heavy for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna jump in and we're in about 40, 45 feet of water. I'll swim down to the bottom and hopefully there's a big grouper waiting for me. It's my float line that I can uh, hang on to if needed. Okay, I got my wetsuit on. I'm about to put this GoPro in into my mask. I'll be honest, I don't like admitting this, but I'm getting pretty seasick out here. Cause I don't think you can tell how big these waves are on the GoPro, but they're just massive rollers from all directions. The waves are coming from that way, from that way, from that way. All right, I'm gonna try my best, guys. This is rough. Looks like Coast Guard's pulling me over. I didn't even get in the water. Coast Guard pulls me over freaking every damn day, dude. Every time I go offshore, I get pulled over by Coast Guard. FWC or Sheriff freaking always pulling me over. Oh, fuck me. I haven't even gotten the water yet, bro. I'm gonna pull my buoy in so they don't run it over. Crazy. Are they gonna pull me over or not? Are they just like pulled up to me and now they're just chilling there? Oh, now they're leaving. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. What the heck is that all about? They pulled up to me, made it look like they were gonna board and then they just took off. Ah! Boys, as embarrassing as this sounds, I think I might throw up that sushi. Whew. Oh God. <sighs> All right. Mm, I gotta push through this. I gotta push through this. I can say with confidence that that was embarrassing. But before you unsubscribe, I'm gonna try to get some redemption in this video. But I went back home, I'm in bed right now. I got so seasick. You know, in the last six, seven years, I've put out 400 videos and I've gone offshore probably close to 800 times. And I've only got seasick maybe like four or five times. 
Something about today, maybe it was the sushi, maybe it was the cold brew, maybe it was just trying to do a lot of things in wavy conditions by myself. I did a dive, went down, saw a bunch of fish. I could have had a field day shooting yellowtail snapper and grunts and stuff. They're all over the place. Didn't see any grouper. Yeah, my head was spinning and then I came back up to the boat and it was rocking so hard the engine is just like slapping up and down in front of my face and I figured if I'm not feeling good and that engine hits me or something happens, I was like, it. I'm being stupid right now, so. I decided to call it. The day has turned beautiful. Look at that. The wind has died down. It looks pretty glassy out there. I bet it's really nice offshore. And I am in one heck of a dilemma. It's 3 p.m. and weigh-in is at 4. There's literally no way that I could go out right now, shoot a grouper, and have it back in time for the weigh-in. And if I ran out right now, then I, I wouldn't be able to make the dinner either. So it's like, do I go f hunt a grouper and miss the captain's after party, you know, see all my buddies and all that? Or do I just go out and try to get a grouper and not make the tournament? Ah! I've been sitting here sulking in my sadness, but I've made a decision. I'm gonna use the next couple hours and get some work done. Then I'm gonna go to the captain's meeting because I wanna show my support. After all, this tournament is to raise money to give less fortunate kids opportunities to get out on the water. So I want to make the captain's dinner, show up, show my support, see how everyone did. I bet everyone's got some big groupers. And tomorrow, I'm going to hit it hard tomorrow. I'm going to go out again tomorrow. The weather looks good. So I'm going to put all of my energy into hitting it hard again tomorrow. So work, captain's meeting, good night's sleep. We're going to hit it hard again in the morning. And all of this is happening on this video. Yeah. You feel it? I feel better already, you know? I was feeling a little sad, but I feel good now. What a pretty little kitty we have here. Oh, big young. I took a shower, put on my fancy Columbia shirt, and I was about to drive to the, uh, the dinner and the captain's after party, and I think my battery is shot. <laughs> my car's not turning on. Mark my words, the 2024 live like Jeff spearfishing tournament. I'm gonna, my my game is here right now. <laughs> if this is like zero and like negative 10 is here, this is where my game's at right now. Next year, I'm gonna be up here. I'm gonna have a reliable new truck, a boat I trust, and I'm gonna be where the black group are. But uh, I'm gonna go back upstairs and uh, continue working. And tomorrow we're gonna try to spearfish. We're gonna end this video on a high note, hopefully with some fish in the box. Come here, buddy. It is time for redemption, my little kitty cat. Are you ready? Because we're going to catch a black grouper today and we're gonna prove everybody that we're the best. Right, Elliot? Come on, let's go. We're gonna catch so many fish today and the weather looks great. So that's really exciting. Okay, here you go. Enjoy your seat, sir. Oh, oh, you already wanna go to the boat. All right, all right, bud, let's go, come on. Come on, buddy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's ready to go. First things first, we're gonna mix our chum, and this time I'm gonna mix the chum here instead of doing it on the boat. Just in case it's a little wavy out there, I don't wanna end up like yesterday and get a uh, <laughs> feel funny. So we're gonna mix all this up today. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that could definitely. I think it doesn't work, Marine. You can get like a couple chains and. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Well, the dock floats a lot nicer now. Yeah, it, it used to be really bad before that float. Got some nice chum ready to go. How you mix that with the sand? And sand, chum, and oats. And then I make like balls, and I just drop the balls down, and the fish come up to them. The flies like it too. You have no more problem with the 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 engine if we're working good. No, I, I still have engine problems it but i'm trying to get it fixed hopefully soon my engine is still trimmed down i never trimmed it up from yesterday because i thought i was going to go back offshore so all i gotta do is turn the key and she should turn on Woo -hoo, baby all right we got a half rotten barracuda two things of chum lots of flies float line this that that i think we're looking good all right we're off Look 
that, baby? Look at that reef, baby. We're heading offshore, though. Woo! Look at that water. Crystal clear water. Watch out, anchor below. <laughs> well, we're in 50 feet of water. The clarity is not that great. I definitely can't see the bottom. It looks a little hazy down there, but that's okay. We'll make do. You see these lines going down? Those are my chum balls going down. So if I take one of my chum balls and I drop it, there goes one. Here, I'll drop this one right after him. Just like that. Now we should see two balls on here. And there we see them. That's the first chum ball. And there you see the second chum ball going down. So those chum balls fall all the way down to the bottom. And hopefully, after doing this for about 20, 30 minutes, when I jump in, there'll be a grouper waiting for me, but it's pretty murky, so I don't really see anything. So I won't know until I swim down what's down there. But I'm gonna keep chum balling. I'm gonna put my wetsuit on, get my gun and everything, and then we hopping on in. We're about to go in, baby. Oh, God. That last dive was two minutes. I need to not stay down there that long. Come on, baby, let me shoot something, please, man. I'm really giving it my all. Two minutes, nine seconds, holy shit. <laughs> Dinner, baby. <laughs> you know, finally had to take the crack of whack. And I get to use my new dive knife too. This yellowtail is full. Oh, look at all the chum in them. He is full of chum. Oh my god, he had a lot of chum in his belly. All right, there goes his gills and his organs. We survived and we got ourselves some dinner in the box. I used all the chum and I put the last bit of chum in and I took my last dive down. There is some big yellow tails, some snapper. I saw a couple of huge muttons. I couldn't get close to the muttons. I could have shot some nice yellow tail snapper. And then on my last dive, I turn around and there was a massive shark like 10 feet behind me. And I'm like, damn. And that's kind of when I decided, you know, the sharks are showing up. I'm just gonna pop one, pop a snapper real quick. We'll call it a day. That'll be our dinner. You know what? We didn't get a black grouper, but I feel on top of the world right now. I'm feeling great. I gutted him, I descaled him, and we gonna be cooking up this snapper. You know, I kind of pushed it a little bit, 
pushed it harder than I normally ever would have. And I just feel like I accomplished something. Feel good. I've been standing here staring at my fridge for like 15 minutes now, trying to figure out, cause I promised you guys, or I said I wanted to step up my cooking game. I wanted to, you know, do something a little more exciting than I normally do. And I can't think of anything exciting that doesn't require me to cook for like an hour or two and get a bunch of random ingredients from the store. And while I do love cooking, that just seems like too much work to do just for myself. But I do have an idea. I do wanna try something. Give the fish a couple of slices, the standard procedure. When you're cooking a whole fish, you wanna cut some slices into it so that way it cooks more evenly. We got our blackening seasoning, the best in town, the best blackening in Florida. This seasoning is actually, we, we blend it right here in Florida and I'm gonna spare no expense. <laughs> that is a blackened fish. And in this pot over here, I got some melted butter, just some butter, that's all. Nice and hot. Wow, that's a mega blackened yellowtail. A blackened yellowtail. All right, let's flip this bad boy. Give it a nice little flip. Oh no, the tail broke. <laughs> oh, I like to tilt the pan to the side and get all the butter up in that cavity of the fish and oh yeah. I got a question for you guys. Would you consider this burnt or crispy? <laughs> because me personally, I like it when it's got a little bit of blackness right on the edges. It makes the fish really crispy and it's the skin. So the skin is nice and like, like, a, like a chip. If the skin isn't crispy, I won't eat it. So I'll only eat the skin if it's like really crispy like this but some people say that my fish look a little burnt, <laughs> which, hey, maybe they are, but this is how I like them. But I'm curious, what do you think? Burnt or crispy? Would you eat this? Like, I like to get it in the butter, get it extra crispy in there. Oh, mm, can't wait to see what it tastes like. Let's load this sucker up on a plate. What do we got here? Ah, uh, yes, my only, my only not paper plate. <laughs> uh, this is true bachelor living here. Oh, that is a crispy tail. That's gonna be delicious. All right, let's, uh, let's look into our meat here, into our crispy, not burnt fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that white meat. Look, oh, these are like the perfect bites. Look, we got, so you got the perfect white meat steaming. Then we got the crispy skin with that like blackening crisp, right? Notice how I'm saying crisp and not burnt. <laughs> All right, this right here looks good. Look at that, the bones, the meat just peels right off. That right there is a black, a whole black and yellow tail. Let's give it a try. And look who we have over here. Look at this little desperate, desperate little face. <laughs> look at those little eyeballs. Hey, Elliot. And holy Snickers, look at that. We got our fish and we're about to try it. But first, check this out. I'm wearing the tournament hat and I wanna give a big shout out to Carson and Luke. They both shot nice black groupers. They were out on Killshot Ed's boat. Killshot Ed, he made my spear gun. He makes custom spear guns and he's got all the dive, spear fishing, free diving equipment you could ever want. So make sure you check him out in Isla Mirada. And Carson has been a little bummed, and I'll tell you why. They got to the weigh-in, and they had their groupers with them, but they just assumed that there was a bunch of other bigger grouper there. They just assumed that they wouldn't have placed or won anything, so they didn't weigh their grouper. And it turns out that nobody shot a grouper in for spearfishing. The only grouper caught were hook and line, so Carson and Luke, they would have won the spearfishing tournament. And Carson said that he's like, I, I feel bad, that's rough. But that's why I'm mentioning it here, because for in the books of history, 
they are the winners. <laughs> so um, anyways, cheers to everyone that took part of the competition or the tournament. I hope everyone had a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there next year. I'll be in it again next year. I'll link it in the video description if you want to check it out with what the tournament's about, how to enter it, and all that stuff. But let's give this Yellowtail Snapper a try. Oh my god. That's crispy, not burnt. Mmm. With the skin, with the skin and everything. Mmm. You know, sometimes the simple recipes are the best. Well, not the best, but they're simple and they're easy and they still taste amazing. Mmm. Oh. All right, I'm gonna finish this. And please, don't go solo spearfishing. It's not smart. It's stupid. If you black out, you'll never get found again. <laughs> and you'll just float away into the abyss. So don't be that guy. Don't be me. And... We will be seeing you guys on the next episode. Cheers. Elliot, do the shocker thing, you know? Every time I say cheers, I do this. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Does that look like a shocker? <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers.